Love doesn't make the world go round. Love is what makes the ride worthwhile. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to Aprilene and Peter's wedding ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the processional march.
let us welcome our beautiful bride. given us a good weather to witness one of the most important milestones in the lives of Peter and Aprilin. To formally start our wedding ceremony this afternoon, may I request everyone to rise for an invocation to be given to us by Reverend Rofel Dan Miliendens. Let's pray. Our Father, Creator, Savior, Designer of Marriage, we turn to you this afternoon asking you to be glorified in whatever takes place. We ask that this ceremony might honor you and reflect the seriousness of the vows to be spoken. Might this be a fitting beginning for April and Peter as they commit themselves together in front or before this congregation to pursue a life together. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Good afternoon everybody. We are gathered here today to witness the union of April and Peter who is dear to us. In the time that they have been together, their love for and understanding of each other has grown and now they have decided to live their lives together as husband and wife. Before anything else, Gusto lang ko magpamangkot. Sino ang nagatugyan sa kay April para nga ikasal sa kay Peter? So, the father has already committed April to Peter. May I request Peter and April to, to come before uh, in front? April has requested me to keep the ceremony short like me, <laughs> sweet, but sincere. I know that they love each other and uh, deserve to be with each other. So this time, um, may I ask them to say their wedding vows for each other.
promise you, sweetheart, I will be your faithful husband. I promise you, where the rain shines, I shall always love you the same as I love you. I shall look, I also promise that I shall look after you to the end of my life. I love you. Look at the ring, think of me. It's a token of my love. I shall love you forever. I always have, and I always will. Sweetheart, thank you for loving me unconditionally. I promise to make our relationship a priority. I promise to support you in a good and bad times. I promise to make our married life exciting. <laughs> I promise the best that I can be as your wife and as the mom of our future children. <laughs> I promise to say I love you every morning and every night before we sleep. I promise to give you my everlasting love until I die. Thank you very much. May I ask the maid of honor to assist with the ring? A ring is a fitting symbol to represent the covenant that you are making today. Not only are this made out of the finest metals, reminding you of the purity of your relationship, but they are also a circle, a line, an ending, reminding you that your love, devotion, and commitment to one another are to be an ending. Marriage is a social institution. It is the foundation of the family, the very basic unit of our society. It is governed by law and responsibility. April and Peter, they are the contracting parties today. But in the marriage, they are not only accountable to each other, but also to the society and to the laws of the land. It is also a spiritual connection. The foundation of marriage is love. It is something immaterial. It cannot be quantified. It is a profound experience. It is something we call spiritual. It is a connection between two souls bounded by love, respect, understanding, and commitment. The scripture tells us love is of God and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. And lastly, marriage is a special covenant 
it should be something well thought out before entered. It is an agreement that requires a lot of sacrifice and suffering. But more than that, marriage requires commitment and effort to keep it special. We have heard their vows. They have put on the rings as a symbol of their commitment to each other. Now, let us lay down as part of the ceremony the veil and the cord. with the signing of the marriage certificate. This is, for many, this is just a piece of paper, but it signifies, as I have said, their commitment to one another. up and face each other. Is there anything more you want to say to each other? Anything spontaneous? I love you very much. Very happy and I'm lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you sweetheart. I love you. I would like to request the sponsors of the veil and the core to remove
may request the congregation to stand with us. We have finished the ring ceremony. We have signed the contract. There's nothing much left to be done but pronounce uh, pronounce them as a couple. Inasmuch as you have pledged to the other your life.